All right, guys. I um, just want to talk about using your time more wisely. Now, I'm not saying you're not using it wisely, but in the sense of that you may not recognize you waste a lot of time in the day. Um, a prime example of that is spam emails. One of the things I recommend if you're going to sign up to stuff, which often you're forced to, like, for example, the Apple Store, when it's trying to get a credit card out of you and trying to force you to give over information you don't want to, set up a separate email and uh, just for absorbing all that stuff. So if you do join a forum or join whatever or get an insurance quote, it goes in there. So it's not on your daily stuff. Because if you want your insurance quote, you can go into that email and just have a quick look for it. Because then when it still send you emails three or four years later, you ain't even reading them. Um, that's one example of where we lose time every day is with the junk that we're often being sent. And we're over bombarded with it. Um, the other thing is false information. I was looking at something today because I was doing something with photos and someone came up on my Facebook feed relating to uh, UK pensions and somebody was on about, oh, Germany, Germans get this amount, French get this, UK only gets this amount pension-wise. Uh, it's the EU's fault. It's got nothing to do with the EU. But you've got to understand that is not there to give you a statement. It's there to incite the argument. Because what you're looking at is the pro and anti, and they're getting them to fight. We've already seen this with the whole stuff coming out about the uh, Facebook and the, the Boris Bass and the US elections with Trump. We're already seeing how things were orchestrated. They were manipulated. They're using our information against us. But at the same time, it doesn't mean you have to buy into it. When you see this stuff, recognize what it is. It is simply to incite hate, it's inciting arguments, it's to start a argument with you. I mean, it doesn't automatically end up in Facebook. It's put there. And it's put there by people wanting to create these disputes. Don't waste your time on it. Don't get baited into it. Don't get into these arguments. There is no value in it. There, it's a waste of your time. One of the things I do a lot more, probably in the last five, six years, is I analyze what people are doing. So when somebody says, Matt, look at this, do you know what these guys are saying? Whatever, you know what? No, don't care. I'm not even gonna look at it. Because I'm not interested. The reality is life is yours. You control it. Your decisions are yours. And if you want to get baited into this stuff and then get dragged into it and people arguing over stuff over and over again, because that's let's face it, that's what they're looking at. There is a Comment, not a comment, a quote I heard the other day, I can't remember exactly, but it was sort of like when somebody, it was basically that day when somebody actually said on, a, um, on the internet, yes, I agree with you, you changed my mind. Um, never said, you know, because the point is a lot of this is to incite these arguments because it creates um, conflict, creates content um, but it misuses your time your time is important to you and um, so one of the things I do recommend is utilizing it in better ways when you can there's stuff put in our way on a regular basis and there's stuff that's designed to waste our time when you look at um, the going back to that pension thing they take the pension by force the state pension is taken from you as a worker it is taken. It's not, it's not something they gift you. It's not something they gave you. They've taken it automatically through taxation, through deductions, without a, even considering what you think of it. Because personally, I think a lot of people would manage their money far better than the government ever would. At the same time, they're not spending, they're not investing my money. They already spent that. My money's been spent on the last generation whose money was spent on probably the last generation before that. That's the reality. It's nothing more than a Ponzi scheme. Um, but it's a forced one. And that's the thing. You've got to recognize a lot of this stuff. When they say we're gifting you and that this is a thing like benefits. Now, I don't have any benefits, but I, it was no benefit for me in the first place. I paid for it by force. It was taken from me. Um, 
But at the same time, this is how things get defined, as if they're helping you, they're giving you something for free. NHS, it's free. No, it's not. It's a very expensive um, system. Very expensive and is riddled with problems all over that people simply refuse to ignore with the environment that exists within it. Um, because it's very socialist, it's very unionized, it's very controlling, it's very ex um, exploitive. And I say exploitive because as soon as you can test things, like for example, they always say the parkings for the nurses' pay rises. That's one of the things they, that you'll see often is for the nurses' pay. What about the chief exec's pay? And what about the person that does the chief exec's job as a consultant? Doesn't come into it. So the point being is just recognize all this stuff, but don't have to get involved in it because unless you're gonna change it, don't waste your time on it. Focus on your own life, focus on where you want to be, what you wanna do, what you wanna create, because these things will not change. You're not gonna be able to go up and tap the queen on the shoulder and say, you know what, I think you should get rid of these MPs and actually employ people that um, for a start have had a job and come from different parts of the society um, so that we can get a balanced view of the political system in the UK so that everybody has a voice and all this sort of stuff. I don't think that the Queen would ever listen to me on that. So why get so involved in it? Because for the majority of people, they just get angry about it from either side. It's not helping you. It's not progressing you. And this is why when you see some of these self-help help books, you'll see they don't really talk about any of this stuff because they don't get into it. They recognize it's a pointless exercise. They're, unless you're wanting to get into politics, don't waste your time on it. Um, now, the other thing with time is, is recognizing how to increase your income. Now, wealth is not always about money. Wealth is not always about money. It's about getting to a point where you are happy. That is what it's about. Here in Spain, if I was hitting 2,000 euros a month, I would be happy here. That's it. I wouldn't need to bother about anything else. I wouldn't really be fussed about generating more than that. I might buy somebody an exhaust system on this, this little motorbike. Um, but beyond that, I'm not really too fussed. I'm in a fantastic area. Happy here, kids are happy here, wife's happy here, I love it. Um, got nothing to complain about. It's stepping back and seeing what makes you content, what makes you happy, what can get you to that point, how much money can get you to that point, and planning around that. Because a lot of it is about people often try and jump too far ahead or want to get rich. They go, I wanna get rich, right but is it gonna make you happy? Because your whole focus is purely on the money, not where it's gonna take you. It's not like, I would like to meet celebrities, or I would like to own a, my own yacht, cause I, you know, or I'd like to go backpacking for a year. Something that's a achievable goal without too much actual uh, thinking. You know, if you decided you wanna go backpacking for a year, sit there, work how much it's gonna cost, and then build the money up. Simple as that. It's not like, you know, oh, well, I want to be a billionaire by the time I'm 32 or whatever. And then you go, okay, but how are you going to do it? No idea. So the point being is break it into chunks and see what you actually want to get out of life. Take a bit of time to work out exactly what you actually want in life. For me, I'm happy here in Spain. And people go, oh, yeah, but you're here in the coast. Uh, you know what? There's so much to see in Spain. I'm on the doorstep of Europe. I can travel around. That's fine for me. That that suits me. The next year is going to be focused on making things 100% Spanish in the sense of being fluent in Spanish, having a integrated life here, and moving away from reliance on the UK. A lot of people have said, "Yeah, but you won't earn as much here." I'm not interested. I'm not bothered. I can go to the UK and work there like a slave anytime I want. But it's not a life. It's a hamster wheel. It just goes round and round and round. It doesn't move life forward. And that's the way I see it. And what makes me content? Well, sitting doing these videos on a Saturday afternoon, 
talking to the owner of the cafe down, well, it's literally a new street, um, that's new, next street, um, and I'll be popping down there to see him and have a cup of tea in a minute. That's what makes me happy. My kids are busy playing, my mother-in-law's here, relaxing, she's in, enjoying being here in Spain and experiencing stuff, that's what makes me happy. You probably notice I get a lot of enjoyment out of other people being happy, well, that, that's just me, <laughs> you know? Um, the priority for me is people being content and I'm content. Um, I don't really see too much suffering and stuff in this area. That's, that's, I'm happy with that. I'm happy that my biggest pain in the backside is that little motorbike that goes straight past my window. But you know what? I'm not going to go down there and shout at him or whatever because we're all young at some point. And he obviously has got the money for the exhaust, or he thinks it goes an extra two kilometers an hour by taking the um, the regulator out. But either way, don't let other people waste your time. Nearly on cue. Um, enjoy life. Thanks for watching.